Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Don't Starve. Last time we left off, we fixed all the problems, we recovered from being extremely low on sanity, and we also um, is narrowly escaped death in the form of um, those hounds. One of them was some kind of ice wolf thing, that was scary. Anyway, here we are back at camp. Um, let's try some of this, and I can drop this for now, and just get a little bit of a fire going. Whoops, that's not where I want it. I want it slightly closer to, you know, inside the fire pit. Okay, there we go. And let's open Chester and just murder these guys. And this will allow us to make more meatballs, and then we can go check the trap, obviously. Two of each in there. Cook. There we go. That's going to be very delicious and yummy. I will keep the, the pumpkin there for now. Let's see, I think we're... Okay, beef low wool goes in there, so let's get that from Chester. Oh, actually, I have it. Alright, meatballs are done. I'll pick those up momentarily. Beef low wool goes there. Alright, what else you got, Chester? Alright, we got the extra things, so I guess I can put that in the thing chest. Was that this one? Uh, maybe it was this one. Yes. Okay, so we do have all the things. That's pretty cool. I'll just throw the honeycomb in here, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Goes in the honey chest anyway. Um, and the beef little horn, I'll just throw in this because I don't need it now, and I can throw it in there. For storage. Um, this stuff you can keep on you, Chester. I might need it. Who knows? Um, let's see, we're okay. Well... Alright, I'll go chop down a few trees just so we don't waste this day. Cause, but we don't have that much daylight left. So I'm only going to chop down maybe this one and one more. I mean, that'll put us back up to 20 logs anyway. And might as well just plant the trees. Since we are right here so close to the base anyway. Um, and we'll just cut down this one. And I'll probably have like an extra log or something. I'll throw that in the fire. Oh, actually, no, we do need one more tree. Plant that, and we'll just get this one. I'll dig up the stumps later, but I don't have my shovel on me, and don't really feel like getting it right now. No, I said plant it. By right-clicking, there you go. Alright, but, um... Let's see. Other than sustaining ourselves for the winter, I'm not entirely sure what to do. But yeah, it's about to be evening, unfortunately. That's one of the things I really don't like about winter. If you want to live, you have to really play it safe. Um, these give you 60 hunger, so... I could eat these tonight for like a midnight snack or something. But other than that, I'll just uh, wait a little bit for food. Let's see. And to get the upgraded thing of this... Yeah, I need those purple gems. You know what I should do, actually? If I can do it, I might make a divining rod, because that way, you know, those clockwork guys, they sometimes drop purple gems. That could be an option. And I am going to have to kill a tree guard. But I don't know exactly how it can summon those things. I remember we had that one. I don't know if he's still up there in that area. And Don't Starve is updated. For me, I think the... The little clock over here looks a little bit smaller. Maybe, I don't know, something looks different about it. it looks nice though, I mean I like it. I don't know. I don't, some mods have changed, but that's okay. Change is not always bad, sometimes can be, but in this case I like it. A little bit more stuff out of the way. I don't really want to remove the minimap though. But then again, I don't really feel that it's in the way too much. Throw one more, well... Actually, I'm going to throw a piece of charcoal in the fire for now. Alright, and let's see, what else can we make that's magical? A meat effigy. Um, I, I do have this, so that's something I could build. Actually, I might be able to build this now. Oh no, I need beard hair though. Dang it. I don't know if I have any of that. I mean, I have a beard, but I can't shave it. Don't know why. Um, I'll check the chests again. No beard hair there. Actually, let's do this. Get all the things together. No beard hair in here. And no beard hair. Okay, um... 
I can get that by going insane again, unfortunately. So, uh, what else can we build with this thing? I want to get into the magic. A one-man band. All the stuff... Okay, the pan flute. Well, that's not very great. Nightlight. More gems. Um, let's see. Knight armor. Ooh, that sounds really cool. A dark sword. Lucid dreaming damage. That's pretty funny. A batman. Okay, but this stuff we need a shadow manipulator to build. Okay, this I can... A life-giving amulet. That sounds like a very good item, and before the fire goes out, um, I'll just throw a log on it. That should be good for now. Um, what else do we have? A chilled amulet. Maybe that protects you from cold. No, that wouldn't really make sense if it's chilled. A nightmare amulet. To induce insanity. No thanks, I managed to do that just fine on my own. Let's see, what else can we make? Ooh, we can make an ice staff. But again, I need to get gems, and I need to go caving, and when I need to have a very stable thing for sanity, so I might have to wait till spring again to go caving, unfortunately. Unless there's another way to get those gems. I know for sure you can get the purple ones from the clockwork guy, so we might hunt them down. Okay, this I can eat by now, too. So let's eat these, and let's get some more cooking. There we go. This is still drying. Um, this stone, I would have liked it to have been hotter, but whatever. Um, let's move on out, let's go check the traps again, and then after that I'll go to see if I can get some more charcoal. I don't know if we'll be able to manage this all in the same day, but it would be in our best interest to try our best to do so, you know, assuming that I want to be alive. And that is very much something I would like. Didn't survive 62 days out here for nothing. Almost 63. And I'll never forget, the longest I've ever survived in this game was 111 days. And I could have probably gone longer, but at the time the game was in beta, and these guys are kind of loud and annoying. Okay, no. <laughs> they saw me thinking about it. But at the time the game was in beta, and there was a lot less features than there are now, so I was kind of bored, and I'm like, you know what, I just want to do something cool and die. So I did something cool and I ended up not dying from it, which was, my intent was to die, but like go out with a bang, sort of. Um, what I did was I, well, there was these spiders that I've never messed with, so they had this huge army just south of where I had my camp. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go invade these guys, kill them, and I'm probably gonna die in the process, but, you know, it would be fun. So I did that, I won. I won. What I did was I recruited a bunch of the pigs. Like, I had an army of about me and maybe seven pigs. It was pretty cool. Uh, let's set the trap more. Yeah, that's good enough, I guess. And let's grab this. That guy in there. So, what I ended up having to do was, um... What did I do? Oh, yeah. I eventually died from, uh... Amber getting cold again. Gonna have to make a fire momentarily. I'm w keeping an eye on the temperature meter right there. If that gets too close to zero, I'll immediately build a fire, but as long as it doesn't hit zero, I'll be okay. Which technically, zero degrees Celsius, I don't. Well, it might. I don't know. I don't know temperatures, guys. I want to say that it wouldn't start hurting right away, but that's just me. I, the cold doesn't bother me too much. But then again, I don't know if I've, you know, I, I'm an American, I do Fahrenheit, I don't know Celsius. So I don't know what zero degrees Celsius feels like just because, um, I don't know, we don't measure our time in that, so, or to time, temperature. Yes, time is measured in degrees Celsius now. Um, uh, let's grab some of this, I'm gonna leave this here so it'll get nice and warm. Come on, drop it, guy, guy, drop it. You're not making this easy. Drop. There. Jeez, okay. Um, do one more log just to keep it going. And I'll grab as much grass as I can, still keeping an eye on my temperature. Man, I really love this always-on status display thing where I don't have to, like, hover over it to see how I'm doing. And it also gives you a bonus of naughtiness over here and temperature over here. So that's pretty cool. Alright, heat stone's nice and hot. I'm gonna warm up a little bit, then I'll grab it. 
Um, no point of cooking anything yet. The rabbits I can keep. Um, and it doesn't look like we're really going to get up to the point where I can get the charcoal. Unless I camp out overnight, which, you know what, that's probably something I want to do. Because nine charcoal is not going to last me too long, and I really would hate to keep using wood in order to do that. I mean, charcoal's just so much better, especially if you're playing as Woody, who can't really chop down as much trees as other people. Alright, so we're about warm enough now. I don't think I'm going to get much warmer. So let's just take this and go. And let's see if I can't find the path under all the snow. I wish you could, like, be able to mine salt and, like, put it on these paths so at least I can see what's, you know, where the path is. I mean, that would be kind of funny, but it would be useful, too, because I'd be able to keep the snow off the path and I'd be able to travel fast, which is very important in winter. You have to be able to travel fast and efficiently. That, you usually don't really... Oh gosh, those are bats. I forgot th they come out at night of the cave hole that I uncovered. So let's try to avoid them, although I think they're kind of tracking me now. Yeah, they're kind of tracking me now. Thanks a lot, Chester. Hopefully they don't follow too far. And I am going to have to... Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, he's not mad at me though. I wonder if he's going to fight the bats. That guy sounds like they're fighting. I mean, I heard that bat scream like that. That tree guard guy scared me. I, for, I So, I remember him being here, but I don't remember him still being around. Like, I thought that either went back to sleep and kind of reverted back to, uh... Let's see if we can make the fire, like, right here in between these trees. Okay, it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. This will be good enough. Alright, this is gonna be my nighttime fire, so let's just do this. And drop our heat stone down right next to it. I know you don't have to drop it, but... It doesn't make sense to have it on me if I'm going to be wandering away from the fire. So let's grab all this charcoal. And this should be okay to chop all of these right now. Um, let's just pick it up while we still can, while we still have a little bit of light left. So I'll just take nine and find the difference between that and the amount of charcoal. I got to see how much chops I did because I didn't actually count. Alright, so we did nine chops there. Um, that's perfectly fine, and if I had a torch or something, I could go out and get those other ones. Actually, a few of these are kind of... Well, the snow seems to be picking up, like the snow and the wind. I've never had that happen before to me in Don't Starve. So maybe this winter is like an unusually severe one or something. Alright, so now I'm at 11 chops, and I still would like some more charcoal so that way I don't have to use logs. Well, I might have to use one more log and then... I mean, I, I guess I could make a charcoal farm by my house, but I would kind of rather have a wood farm there and just burn down a massive amount of trees than a naturally occurring forest. I think that's probably a better way to do it, but... at least for me, anyway. And I am low on hunger, but I have some meatballs waiting for me back at camp, so when we get home... Um, Okay, that heat stone went down in temperature. Do you need to be close to the fire? Or closer to the fire, I should say? Yeah, there you go. Right next to the fire. I'll use one more log to get us through the rest of the night and to provide us some more heat. And, let's see, so this is going to be, what, our second night? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is our second night. Man, these episodes go by fast. I don't like that. I mean, I, I like I want to keep playing, but at the same time, I can't, you know, make hour-long episodes. That'd be fun, don't get me wrong, but not everyone has the time to watch a entire hour-long episode, and I understand that. And I probably won't be having the time to make those anyway, so that's fine. Okay, good. Stop snowing. That's always a good sign. I don't know why exactly, but, uh... It just provides some hope that winter will end soon, so... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. That should be enough. 
should not need to chop anymore, hopefully. This should hopefully last us the entire winter, but I kind of don't think it will. Just because charcoal, you can go through the stuff really fast. Actually, actually, this should be enough to last us the winter. I mean, let's say I use two a night, which probably won't happen because that's only what ideally will happen. Say I use two a night, that's, let's see, what, 17 nights? Yeah. And I don't think se winter is 17 more nights long, and I gotta watch out for these guys because I'm cutting through the swamp here. And thanks to my mini-map, I was able to see that before it happened. I love this thing, and I don't have to press tab all the time to bring up the mini-map. Okay, those bats are still out there. Are they fighting? The oh, they're fighting the tree guy for me. I want to see how this ends. Oh. Guano. What the heck's guano? Is that bat poop or something? I think it's bat poop. Okay, um... Well, he won. That much was expected. Tree guy won. At least I know where he is, and I do have to get back to camp really soon. Um, get out of the way, Rock. Yeah, I think I should make it back before I start to freeze. Or maybe not, because I'm actually farther away than I thought it was. Well, that's kind of not fun. Alright, well, I can just stop in the savannah again, and, uh, and I am paying attention to my hunger. I'm not gonna die out here. At least I don't plan on it. I might stop in the savannah and make a fire, because that way I can at least replenish the grass that I've used. And that's only if I have to stop. I'm still okay at 4 degrees Celsius right now. Okay, and here's the rest of the path. Still in the savannah, partially. Alright, and I might just make it back to camp, because this is the path, and... You know what? I might take, a, like, one or two damage for freezing. But, uh... I might be able to make it back in time. And the only reason I would take that damage is because I can't really stay on this path as much as I would like to, just because I can't see it the whole time. Oh, man. And, I mean, I can kind of see it in the minimap. That's how I know I have to make corrections, but you know, obviously it's a lot harder to... Okay, actually, kind of see some of it here. And let's run and throw some charcoal in the fire. Get over there. Okay, there we go. That was close. And let's eat these. And let's throw one of these in here. Let's take our jerky. Throw that there. Um, let's get some more rabbits out of Chester. Well, actually, we only need to kill one for now. So throw that in here. Um, put berries in there. Make more meatballs. And let's put our heat stone down. And if this can get warm enough, fast enough... And I'll go, I'll go check the traps real quick. I don't think that's really going to happen, though, so I might have to stay here. And that's another thing I really don't like. You can't move around a lot in winter, which makes videos, well, I would say harder to make, because you can. there's less things you can do, which is not cool in my opinion, but, I mean, it's got to be that way. This game was not meant so people can make videos. It was meant for people to enjoy a survival experience, and part of that is not being able to do a lot of winter stuff. But for me, I kind of get, you know, the short end of the stick, I guess, because it makes making videos a little bit harder. It's not a whole lot I can do in winter, and I obviously I'm not going to sit around the whole time. I could easily just sit and camp the entire winter, but that wouldn't be fun. Okay, I gotta move that trap. Or maybe not. Maybe they just haven't been going in them. Okay, so two traps went off, and I'm going to have to get out of here really soon. But two is okay for now, because now I think we finally might have a multiple of four. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, that trap must not have gotten the rabbit. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's see if we can run back in time. So really, I kind of cheated on this day to get more rabbits. So I guess this is kind of our winter routine. Get charcoal, get rabbits, get meatballs, get fed, get warm. That's pretty much it. It's a good routine to have if you want to survive, but it can kind of be repetitive. Not gonna lie. I wish I could just go caving all the time. And look how much my sanity has dropped from the start of the episode. I remember in the end of last episode saying that it was at, like, oh wow, this is still going. Um, 
I want to keep that still going. Let's do that. More meatballs. More food. Yum. Alright, and let's just put the rest of these berries in here. And where is Chester? Here we go. And let's kill two rabbits. Actually, I don't know why I was thinking to have multiple four rabbits. We only need two at a time. So we're good. We still have one thing of meatballs we can make. And we're going to be nice and warm here. Let's put our heat stone back down. Hopefully the rest of that beefalo meat will last until I can make it into all of it into jerky. But anyway, as I was saying, my sanity is a lot lower now than it was at the beginning of the episode, probably. But I remember at the end of the last episode, it was like down by 13 or something like that. Now it's down by almost 40. And I haven't like done a whole lot to bring it down. And I've been wearing this garland the whole time instead of wearing something warm just for the reason of having my sanity up. I mean, I know I haven't exactly been picking flowers the whole time, but I haven't exactly been traveling through wormholes the whole time either, so that's really hard, actually. I really hate sanity in this game. It's like, you know, it's an awesome mechanic, but maintaining it in order to go caving is not easy. Not easy at all. I might just start wearing my top hat now. Maybe I'll start, uh... Let's see. Um, I might make more garland. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. I don't want to take on the tree guard. Well, I could take on the tree guard. You know what? I think I might do that. He's at least weakened a little bit, and I do have a log suit. I just have to be really careful. Wish I had a tentacle spike or something. But we'll be okay. That might not be a good thing to do right now, because I have to end the video pretty soon, and... It would be kind of hard to end a video in the middle of combat. Now this fire, I'm going to have to add a log just because I have to keep it up. Not so it lasts, but so it gets warm enough so I can still move around. Um, let's see. So next episode we can try to take on that guy. For now I'll just go back and check the traps. Let's see, what else can we do? I mean, I just hope winter ends soon, just so we can go caving and stuff, because I really want to get some of that magic stuff going. I think that would be really awesome. But yeah, that's about all I can think of really doing right now. Just gathering some grass on the way to the traps, check the traps, and uh, take on that guy, the tree guy. Because we're going to need him to get the next tier of magic anyway. It's good that we know where he is. He has been weakened by at least the bats, if not anything else he's been fighting up there. And I'm pretty much at full health, and I do have a way to bring my health back up if the fight goes horribly wrong and I have to retreat. Although the problem is, he could probably chase me back to camp. So I don't know. It'll be exciting, to, to say the least. Um, let's see, nothing in this trap. This is the one I have to replace, because it didn't go down right. It's hard to place these. You have to be like, really? That doesn't look much better than last time, but it's the best I can really get it. This one I can definitely replace. Actually, all of these are pretty much placed fine. It's hard to get these much closer. And I'm going to have to make another fire soon, unfortunately. And I'm going to put away this axe so it shuts up. But anyway, that is going to do it for me for today, so thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.